All right, today we're going to fire up some hamburgers real quick. Good nutrition using my cast iron skillet. That I got nice and clean with, you guessed it, olive oil. But I am going to sit there and pre season the pan with a little bit of store bacon grease before I start the burgers. So let's get ready to eat. Alrighty, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some heat on the skillet. Set it at low. Then I'm going to put a dab. Bacon grease. And that's going to add flavor to the beef. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our panties. So I was told I might be making the panties a little bit too large. Which is a possibility. So I'm going to try something new here to help get them flattened out and spread out a little bit better. So, because once you start cooking them, then they're going to puff up. So you want to get them really flat. So first of all, some sea salt and fresh ground pepper. Pretty much most of what I use. And then you can't go around. And lift the patty off. Flip it over. Stays on the other side. Now I use sea salt because it has far more nutrients. Minerals. Which are very important to your body. So this is how we're making the patties. Pretty much just get the bacon grease to kind of cover everything. I'll bring it up to a medium heat, which is for the most part is as hot as I cook. So today we have other things to add to our burgers that I always kind of have on hand fresh from the garden. I have leaf lettuce Ta -da. and then I grabbed some tomatoes while they were green And I put them in a cardboard box to keep them out of the sun. So now I have a nice red one. This will be good for burgers. This one was a light yellow yesterday, now turning to orange. And then there's the green one I just put in. So what I'll do is about every other day I'll grab another green tomato. Because what happens with tomatoes is they stand behind green for a very long time. And then they all ripen at the same time. And you're like, oh my god, I got tomatoes everywhere. This is water. Hydration is very key for your health. Along with vitamins and minerals. So this burger is ready. Pretty good sizzling. I'll keep it up with just a little bit more. And make my next burger. The light was telling me I was making the burgers too large. Go figure. And I was. <laughs> so today's been a good day. Uh, upload a video and a little pre workout shake I make before I go to the gym. That's heavy in calories. And I need the calories to work out.
and very nutritious and high in protein in the meals. Now what I can do is I can just season it right in the skillet. I got two burgers. Usually I'll sit there and cook extra, but I have a ham and cheese at work to make sandwiches with. So I really don't need to today. So let's put the meat back up. So I had more time. I would have. Uh, it is on my side. Yes, it is. I would have. There it is. Uh, cooked bacon. And I would have had bacon burgers. But I'm a little pressed for time. Gotta go to work. So I used the bacon grease, which kind of do the same thing. So let's get ready to cut up the mater. So we know it's been washed a few times, we'll get another wash. Then remember my sponsors, Bucky O'Day. I cut coat out of knives. I really like these knives. Didn't hear it come in the first one. And uh, also the trading post in Utica, Illinois. Look at that, nice and red inside. So I hurried the process because had I left this on the vine, it'd still be green. And then what will happen is during time, all of a sudden they all start turning red. And I got more than I can possibly keep up with. So this is kind of the way to do it. So now I got the burgers, getting ready to flip them. Oh yeah! Hey, it's doing good. So now I'll cut down the heat a little bit. Got my nice sear going. So I reduce the heat a little bit. Get the burger's going to flip. You still see the blood rising up there. That's kind of how you tell that they still need to cook. Got one more flip and we'll be ready to eat. So the burgers are just about done. And the bread getting totally some toasted. So we got it on the bun, got Colby Jack cheese on it. Fresh tomato from the garden. Fresh lettuce also from the garden. And that's eating good in the neighborhood. Remember, nutrition, rest, proper exercise, and have fun.